Now to a story of a struggling regional Aussie rules club that's been saved by multiculturalism. The tiny hamlet of Coralin in West Gippsland has a population of around 50 and its local club is known as the Team With No Town. Two years ago, the under-16 team almost folded, but a decision to embrace the Sudanese community has bolstered the junior club's m numbers by around 50%, and now it's thriving. Catherine Murphy reports. They came to make up the numbers. But the team with no town means so much more to its new recruits. Out here, I find peace, because here I find I find like-minded people. It's helped me meet uh, new people and have like a sense of belonging. Away from the club, cultural barriers have made fitting into Australian life challenging. Outside in general, like people just give you like weird looks. Like yeah, it's always not fun. We have a long way as a as a human race to overcome a lot of things. At Coraline, there are no such issues. The club covers the cost of fees and provides transport for its new members. We've gained more value from them than I think they have from us. The Cobras might not always convert on the scoreboard, but they've created a winning culture. They've just done some amazing things um, that has been burned into my memory forever. If an opposition team uses a racial slur against one of their players, a reconciliation meeting is arranged post-game. Sometimes maybe someone will be like, it was in the heat of the game. And I'm just like, wait, OK, the game will be done in 20 minutes, but do you think I'm going to forget about this, what you just said, in 20 minutes? We have no idea what they've been through, these kids. And it is just amazing to see them and the way that they have come in and just accept us. So four lines, OK? Even groups at each end. Let's go. Coralyn is hoping their Sudanese contingent continues to grow. They are really important to our, to our multiculturalism. They are really important to this country. We are the of the Catherine Murphy, ABC News, Coralyn, West Gippsland.